everyone, welcome back to the workshop. Artisan Power here, and in today's fun project video, I'm gonna hop back over onto the CNC machine and V carve a sign for a friend of mine up in Pittsburgh. Now, my friend Bill, like me, dresses up as a pirate and makes a very convincing pirate, like I myself do, hopefully, and he entertains thousands of people up in Pittsburgh just like I do down here in Burlington throughout the year and put smiles on faces and everything. But he contacted me and his company which is like a group of pirates, want a sign that they can put on a tabletop like an easel to where people can see their logo. He's already emailed me the logo and I have imported it into Vectric and vectorized it and got the file already ready and loaded onto the laptop back here. I will show you some of the design process momentarily. I've already got all of our material prepped and this is basically a blue pine panel that I glued up out of five one by four blue pine pieces and I planed it down and smoothed it down and here is actually the cutting surface. I've already marked out the rough size of what the finished project is going to be and I'm not worried about wasting this in wood here when I trim it down to its final size because this was just free blue pine pallet wood that I got. The blue paper on here is just blue computer paper that I've used spray adhesive on to attach it here. It's not going to gunk up the bit or cause it to get dull quicker or anything. This is just here to serve for when we paint it later on in the video. It will help mask off some of the areas where it won't require as much sanding. I know some of the paper will peel off, but that's okay. It will help with the majority of the painting. Since everything is prepared, let me get ready to move the camera and I will turn on my air filtration system and we'll get started. And while I'm attaching our material to the CNC machine spool board, I will show you some of the design process that I used in Vetric. I imported the logo Bill sent me and vectorized it and got a preview of what I hope the sign will look like at the end. But once our material was firmly attached with some screws, I hit start on the CNC machine and it began engraving. And now you can kind of see the purpose of the blue paper I have spray glued to the material. It just masks off everywhere that's going to be painted to where it will just take less time sanding in the end. And there are companies that actually sell rolls and pieces of stuff for this purpose to mask off where you're going to paint. But I don't do as many CNC signs like this. So I find that computer paper or even newspaper works well and serves the same purpose. I am using a V-carve bit from Tools Today and it cuts extremely well. I've made a few signs with this bit and it always cuts great and I would highly recommend it. Obviously this footage is sped up but it took around two hours to do all of the carving and I do not have a dust boot for this CNC machine and v Carbon doesn't produce a ton of sawdust, but you'll see me periodically come by with the shop vac and remove what sawdust I can. If you guys like what you're seeing, I would highly encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow me over on Instagram at Artisan Pirate. I'd really appreciate the support. When my friend Bill contacted me about doing this sign, I was very happy to take on the commission and help a fellow pirate. And I did not leave the workshop while this was engraving. I stayed out in the workshop and done other things with the scroll saw and all while this was engraving. That way I could keep a close eye on it in case anything went wrong. It's always fun just to watch the machine do its job, kind of like a 3D printer. But all in all, again, I think it took around two hours or close to two hours to do all the engraving. But once it was done, I jogged the machine back and removed it from the machine and sprayed it with a blast from the air nozzle here and gave it the paint, which we're just going with black here. And I came back and gave this a few coats just to make sure I had everything painted properly. But once it dried around two hours, I brought it to the work table and removed it. And sometimes you need this heat gun to remove the spray glue. And this is why I don't like using 
the spray adhesive would scroll saw projects, I just go with the clear packing tape. But once I got most of it off, it was time for sanding with my random orbit sander here. And I cleaned it up. And once I was satisfied with the results, we took it over to the table saw and cut it down to its final dimensions making sure it was nice and crisp all the way around and after I cut everything down I gave it one more blast with the air hose to clean away any loose sawdust and took it outside and gave it several coats of clear gloss for protection and the project was complete. And here we have the completed Pittsburgh Pirate Ship sign made completely on the CNC machine using the V-carving technique and it came out amazing. It took the CNC machine around two hours to carve this out and it was well worth the wait but really really cool and the clear coat we added at the end really made the blue pine which is the base of this whole project pop and that grain and texture and all gives it that kind of gangplank pirate style but really really cool. I love the font that was used on this logo. You have Pittsburgh Pirate Ship and I really love that nautical look of the word pirate and then you have the actual pirate ship on top with the sea captain on the bow with his spyglass looking out toward the horizon and looking for his next adventure but really really cool really really amazing I hope they like this I do have some finer details to do to it tomorrow or final details I have to go back here and add some support strips and a brace that will hold the kickstand to where it can be stood up on a table and I'm also going to add a hook to the top of it in case they ever want to just hang it on the wall they have that option to do so it just takes this clear coat around 24 hours to dry so I've got to be careful how I handle it but once everything is dry and it's not tacky I can put the clamps on it and glue the strips on the back and then I can pack it up and ship it to my friend Bill up in Pittsburgh but really really cool I had fun making it and I hope you guys like watching me make it that's the main part also if you were wondering how my buddy Bill looks dressed up as a pirate he sent me a picture of himself when I ordered some pirate gear from him for my outfit a couple years ago and he sent this picture and he signed it with my catchphrase if I can make it or do it so can you but really really cool really amazing and as you see we kind of share similarities there is me dressed up as a pirate but really really cool he's a great friend I've known him for years and I was happy to do this project for him that's about all for this one if you're new here please subscribe to the channel and also follow me over on Instagram links to all my social media links as well as ways to contact me will always be linked down in the description box below until next time guys if I can make it or do it, so can you. I'm the Artisan Pirate. Take care, and I'll see you guys real soon.